This is how the herpes virus affects our body and replicates. So first, um, the virus, this is the virus here, enters our body through a mucous membrane. It then attaches itself to the cell wall of, um, of a cell and uh, using its spikes and that part is called attachment. And then it enters the cell, that part is called entry and releases uh, its DNA into the nucleus. Once it does that, enzymes trigger it to produce mRNA and the first mRNA is, that's produced is called amRNA and that's released into the cytoplasm of the cell. After that, um, the, a, the mRNA is swapped into proteins and that's called transcription. Um, once that is done, the cell releases B mRNA back into the cytoplasm and it does the same thing, it swaps it for B proteins and then they enter the nucleus. Once the, the A and B protein have been placed into the nucleus, it causes the DNA to replicate. So that's more DNA right there. Once the DNA replicates, it releases structural mRNA into the cytoplasm. That cytoplasm um, switches it so it's switched back into um, proteins. So once again, that's transcription. And these are the proteins that um, make the cell structure. So there we go. And that's the biosynthesis part. Then all that is assembled inside the nucleus to create new viruses. So those are the new viruses and that part is called assembly. Once the new viruses are assembled, they leave the nucleus and the cell. And that part, that is the um, lytic cycle of the infection. So that's when you have symptoms. When you don't have symptoms, um, the herpes virus, uh, the part where the latent part of the infection, is when the virus itself, itself crawls into a neighboring um, nerve cell. So it goes there and then into the ganglion and it hides there. It hides there until stress comes in and causes it to go back into a lytic cycle. And then everything starts over again.